This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home and my wardrobe. It is time for one of my favorite things about autumn, which is the seasonal switch around of my wardrobe. I am so excited to pull out all of my warm and cozy sweaters, warm dresses, and to put away my summer exclusive clothes. We've had a very, very mild autumn so far. In fact, I think it's 20 degrees today, maybe even a little bit more. Still very warm, but it's definitely not gonna be above 25, I'm fairly sure. So there's a lot of stuff I can already go ahead and pack away. I'm gonna go through my wardrobe, take a look at everything I have in here, see if there's anything that I can say goodbye to that I haven't really worn, can't see myself wearing anymore, and that can be decluttered. Yeah, then we're just gonna take out everything that I won't be able to wear anymore this year. And after that, we're gonna go through all of my autumn clothes and see what can go in here. Before I get started, I would like to take a little moment to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor because this video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform that allows you to build a website and build an online presence in a really, really simple way. I was actually just playing around with the platform a little bit, trying to build a website for a fictional fashion brand, and I was shocked by how easy it was to build something really, really good. Their Fluid Engine takes you through every single step of creating the website that you want with all the features that you need and makes it super simple and beginner-proof. You don't need to have any knowledge of coding or website building whatsoever. It guides you through everything, starting out by asking a few simple questions like what are your main goals with your website and then it gives you certain options for like basic templates to start for each section of, the, of your website that you want. Uh, you can pick the one that resonates with you most and then go in and customize every single thing until it looks exactly the way you want to. It is so easy to do and really fun actually to just play around with. You can also go ahead and start from an already finished template that's already a complete website and just start customizing straight away. If you were looking to build a website for yourself, I highly recommend checking out Squarespace. You can uh, start your free trial at squarespace.com and once you're ready, you can go to squarespace.com slash loopsy to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. I will have that linked in the description box below. Definitely be sure to check them out. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to my wardrobe. First, I think I'm just gonna pull everything out that is too cold to wear now. Spaghetti strap tops, things like that, short skirts, shorts, this. I definitely won't be able to wear anymore. Spaghetti straps, short dress, so that's gonna go into storage. I do want to keep this. It is vintage, true vintage. <laughs> this I can definitely still wear. A nice woolen dress. I think I'm gonna put this away. A little play suit, jumpsuit, if you will. I still like this, it's a very nice and practical piece of clothing, but not for this season. My wrap dress. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to say goodbye to this. For now. <laughs> not decluttering that, but it's gonna go into storage for now. This, definitely. I believe this is one of the items I said I would have to declutter if I didn't wear it, but I did wear it. I can keep it now, I do still really like this. This one, this dress, I don't, I'm not really sure what to do with this dress. I've had it for a long time. It has emotional value, but I'm not sure I would really wear it anymore. It's the, it's a baby doll style dress, very summery. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. It is, yeah, I've, I've had it for years and years and years. I've had this since I was a teenager. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try this on, see how it looks, see if I, see how I feel about it when I wear it. This one, my 1930s dress that I made, definitely keeping that, but it's gonna go into storage. This is one of my favorite dresses, it's a wrap dress, and it has three-quarter sleeves. I might still be able to get some wear out of this this season, so I'm gonna leave that in for now. This one, I did get to wear it a couple of times after fixing it, so that's good. And now it can go into storage. <laughs> this one, definitely going into storage. I think I'm gonna put this one into storage as well. It's a bit of a thinner material and I think it'll just be, I don't know, I feel like this is more of a spring item than an autumn one. The other wrap dress is also gonna go into storage. This definitely going into storage. <laughs> as is this one, my vintage multi-way dress. Love wearing this, I wore this a lot this summer as well. It's made of a very light, kind of like gauzy, cotton which makes it very comfortable on very warm days. Yeah this has to go into storage, short sleeves, linen dress, 
Linen is fine with short sleeves. I won't be able to get much use out of short sleeve things anymore. Oh, here's my sauna floor dress. It's not with all of my other sauna floor dresses for some reason. Uh, anyway, yeah, short sleeve sauna floor is gonna go into storage. Excited to wear that when spring comes around again. I think I'm gonna put this dress in storage as well. This is more of a spring item. It reads more springy to me with its pastel color. This is definitely a summer item. It's gonna go into storage. I'm not doing a very good job of decluttering, but I do remember going through this pretty thoroughly last time when I put in the summer stuff. So I'm not very surprised here. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, this. Going into storage as well, as is this jumpsuit, play suit that I made. Cardigans, I'm definitely leaving in. Blouses, yeah, this can go into storage. A little vintage twin set. Won't be able to wear that anymore. This is for the height of summer. <laughs> hmm. I might get some wear out of those still. Oh! It's the season for this one. Finally, I have to remember to wear it this time around. Okay, blouses, multi-purpose, definitely wearing those still. Okay, whoops. This, I don't really see myself wearing this during the colder seasons. It's a very light kind of folklore blouse, as is this one. A little sleeveless vintage number, beautiful, but very summery. Yeah, another short sleeve. Anything with short sleeves, I'm not gonna be able to wear anymore. I need some sweaters and my dickies. <laughs> I'll definitely start wearing these more again. Oh, love this underneath the sweater. Okay, so there is not that much left here, which is good. I'm happy about that. Means there's a lot of room to pop in. Oh, maybe I'll actually take this one out as well. And I feel like this is autumn appropriate. This is much more of a spring and summer item. So yeah, a lot of room here to put in my autumn winter clothes. Should I put this one away as well? It is quite summer, isn't it? Just by colorway, I'll put it away. I know I have lots of sweaters coming, just to be sure. Blouse, dress. Okay, I think we're good here. All right, so I have another little hanging section over here. These are coats. All these are coats. Yeah, this one I'm gonna put away. Even though it has three quarter sleeves, this is a very light, lightweight kind of see-through almost fabric, which is definitely more suitable for summer. This dress, for sure, <laughs> gonna put away. I believe I called this my garden goddess dress. Love this, absolutely love this, but it's for summer. This I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. Love my vintage little dungarees that I sewed. I think I should probably store away my dirndl. Again, just the color and also the nature of this is just much more summer than it is autumn. Yeah, short sleeve. It's on the floor dress, aka my engagement dress. It's going back into storage. I think I'm gonna leave out my formal wear. Yeah, because that's year round, probably, more or less. And then there's my cape on the end there. <laughs> I think that's it for the hanging parts. So now let's see what we have in the drawers. Alrighty, let's take a look here, where I keep my t-shirts and tops. Yeah, definitely little lace crop top is going into storage. I wonder about t-shirts. Do I keep some t-shirts? Maybe just the plain ones that I can wear underneath something. So this one can go into storage probably. I'll keep the plain white ones. This one has a lace sleeve. It's gonna go into storage. This is another tiny crop top into storage. This top is a top that I'm keeping. It's fitting for some historical periods, like it, it's vaguely reminiscent of some historical periods and I want to be able to wear this in videos. But I think if that's the case, because I haven't worn this in my daily life in years, it actually needs to go into my costume storage upstairs and not in my wardrobe. So that's gonna go to the side. Here's a t-shirt for storage. Thermal t-shirt, yes keeping that. This is a summer dress actually that I haven't worn and not just this year but I don't think I wore this last year either. It's also a style that is very that was very trendy a couple years ago so it's yeah it's not very timeless it's very short. I think it's time to let this go actually. I don't think I will be wearing this anymore 
We're actually decluttering! Okay, sleeveless top for storage. Mm, this is a short sleeve with a bit of a turtleneck. I might wear this underneath a sweater in winter, that might be nice. And some longer sleeve t shirts. Yeah, this is definitely like just straight up warm stuff. And some thermals. Okay, so that's good. I think I'm gonna leave my corset tops out in here for now. What's this? Oh, another thermal. <laughs> Let's pop those together. Do I declutter this top? I don't really wear this anymore. Oh, or do I wait and see if I wear it this year? It is very small, as in tight. Does it even fit me anymore? Maybe this needs to go onto the trial pile. Whoop. Oh, there's a t-shirt. Oh, this is a new sweater that I bought. I can't wait to wear this. Or sweater, maybe it's more like a long sleeve top, but it has like this knitted cable knit and it's the loveliest dark green. Can't wait to start wearing this. I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of that. And then I have some printed t-shirts back there that I think I'm just gonna leave in just in case. Also like utility clothes. And then the bottom drawer is a basket that's full of sweaters. I'm gonna leave all of those here. In fact, they're probably gonna be promoted to some hangers because I tend to use this for heavier sweaters that need to be folded. And then thinner sweaters like this can just be hung up because they won't sag when I hang them. And some of the heavier ones will, so I tend to give those priority. So I'll probably take some of these like thinner sweaters out to make some room here for the thicker ones. So this, I can take this one out as well. I can hang this one up. My longer sweaters, I, this is like pr pretty much all I wear in winter. <laughs> A little vest top. Do I hang this? Maybe. Maybe I hang that as well. So I have a little pile of t-shirts here that's gonna go into storage. And then on the other side here, bottoms. This is a new pair of jeans. That I'm definitely still gonna wear. Shorts, that's gonna go into storage. Nice high-waisted shorts. These as well, one of my favorites. Nice high-waisted shorts. Yep, these as well. I think I'm gonna pop these in storage as well. These are linen trousers. And they're just a bit too cold now. It's just too cold to wear those. So that leaves me with just four pairs of pants at the moment. Yep, just four. And then here are my skirts. And I don't see anything here that is very summer specific. So I think I'm just gonna stay away from that. Okay, so that's everything, which means that it's now time to open up my storage container and see what autumnal loveliness comes out of it. Okay, let's take a look at what's in here then. There's gonna be some stuff that is like downright winter stuff that I'm probably gonna leave in here for a little bit longer, but oh, sweaters. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get as much as possible into the wardrobe already, but I just, I just know it's not all gonna fit. Okay, but what I do see is something I have actually already been looking for because it's perfect for the weather we're having now, which is my trench coat dress. This absolutely perfect autumn pattern that is for sure going in my wardrobe. Maybe I take it all out first and then hang it. <laughs> or this is gonna take forever. Um, turtleneck sweaters. Is it time for turtleneck sweaters yet? Maybe, maybe it is. Or it's gonna be soon if it's not yet. <gasps> oh, my pinafore! These colors, I just oh, I love autumn so much. A Queen's Gambit pinafore, very excited to wear that again. Oh, nice little blazer here. Lovely, oh, this dress. Oh, I just, <laughs> how do I forget about my clothes every season and then get so excited to see them again? Yay, this dress. So excited to wear that again. This little capelet. Definitely putting that back. Another turtleneck sweater. Another blazer, nice burgundy red one with a lovely little tail in the back here. Burgundy sweater, should be able to wear that soon. Okay, here we have some more evening wear. Lovely dress here. Oh, this top. It's in burgundy as well. More sweaters. 
Now I'm probably just gonna try and pop in all of my sweaters actually because I did take out a lot of those dresses and they're gonna be pretty big in here. So yeah. My woolen trousers, these are vintage. They're super itchy, but they're gorgeous. I have to wear them with something underneath like a legging or tights, but they're lovely. Fuzzy, faux fur vest. Oh, some more outerwear in here as well, some coats. Should probably take those out. Yeah, and my thickest, <laughs> warmest, snowproof winter coat. Okay, so that actually pretty much empties this out. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead, get all of this into my closet, get all of that folded up and put away in here, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, this is great. There is still a little bit of room in here for maybe some of my husband's clothes or our summer coats. Once those are no longer usable, they still are at the moment. I need to go ahead and try these on, these two items. And then I can go ahead and pop these back into storage. Uh, only two declutters this time. This dress right here. The very short one with the spaghetti straps. And this top, which is getting officially promoted to the costume wardrobe. It makes sense that I would have less and less things to declutter every time I do this because I do obviously do this twice a year and the goal is eventually that I don't have to declutter anything because I love everything that's in my wardrobe. So as long as my taste doesn't change too much, which it does tend to do honestly every couple of years, I should be good. So yeah, looks like we're getting to a really good point where I like all of my clothing. This is really exciting, really fun. My autumn winter wardrobe, which I very clearly gravitate towards browns and creams during autumn and winter. Uh, I do, I really like those colors. I think we're done here for today. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope maybe this encourages you to go through your wardrobe, have a rummage through, see if there's anything there that you no longer wear, 
that you can maybe pass on to someone else or give a second life somewhere or see if there's any stuff that you can bring back that you're really excited about wearing in the upcoming seasons if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see all of the other things that i'm up to this season don't forget to check out squarespace in the description box below thank you so much once again for sponsoring this video there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you once again for being here and i will see you very soon in my next video bye